This is lesson 3-7, Area, the parent help video for grade 3 everyday math. We have a few vocabulary words. The first one is area. And area is the size inside of a 2D surface. So it's the measurement or the amount of space inside something. So if I have the square, the area of the square is what is inside it here. Okay, square feet is one way to measure area. So if we measure this, the side of the square here, and we say each of these are feet, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So it might be five feet and five feet, five feet and five feet, okay? That tells me I can measure the area in square feet, okay? And I'm gonna say five times five, and that'll be 25 square feet. All right, so square feet is uh, it's a way to measure area. Okay, square yards is also a way to measure area. Instead of feet, I could say each of these is a yard. And we need to remember that a yard is three feet. Okay, so if I say each of these is a yard, that means each of these is three feet long. So this will equal five yards all right, or 15 feet. So it means this area is actually a lot bigger. All right, but square yards is also a way to measure area. Both of these are. All right, and we would use yards when the sides were in yards, and we would use feet when the sides were in feet. Okay, does that make sense to you? Give me a thumbs up, a thumb sideways, or a thumbs down. Something we haven't practiced with yet, so we're gonna have to practice, but good, I'm seeing a lot of thumbs up. Great. So what we want, uh, what we want you guys to be able to do is we want you to use arrays to find the area of rectangles. I drew an array here for you. This is an array, okay? Um, it's actually connected, you know, connected squares. Um, and to make an array that you might be familiar with seeing would be the dots, okay? So I drew this right out for you. So we have five dots by five five dots this is a five by five array and if you were to count up all the dots in this array you would find 25 okay a five by five array would have 25 dots and when you start thinking about multiplication okay five times five is going to be 25 all right so there's a connection there too coming from multiplication i can draw another kind of array let's say a one, two, three by four array. And then you have to fill those dots in. Okay, and you can see a three by four array is going to equal 12 dots. Three times four is 12. Okay, so you, s you can kind of see how the, there's a connection, but we want kids to be able to make those connections um, to arrays and to the area. Um, we want kids to be able to estimate and then measure the area of surfaces with foot and yard square templates. All right. We want them to find the area of a rectangle divide, rectangular region divided into square units. All right. So if we have a rectangular, um, if we have a, just a region here, um, and we're able to divide it up into squares. There, we'll go out a couple more, a couple more. All right. Let's say like this and like this. You can use the uh, you can use the array method even and put dots in those to kind of help you uh, figure out the answer to the area. And this you can say it's a three, three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 3 by 7 array, 3 times 7. If you counted them, you would get 21 dots. Whoops. Okay, so you have a 3 by 7 array, all right, or you have 21 dots, and that would be the area. So you can use um, the rectangle region divided into square units. And also, I want you to be able, I want kids to be able to think about the relationship between square feet and square yards. Okay, so if you have, um, Let's just say we're measuring here. Let's use this five example here. If we say these are five, five feet, right? Five feet by five feet, you know you're gonna get 25 feet, 25 square feet, 
okay, for the area. But if it's 25 square yards, square yards, that's a little bit different because that's actually 15 feet by 15 feet. Okay, because there's three yards in a foot and there are five feet, so that's three times five is 15 times 15. That means, listen to this guys, instead of the surface area being just five times five is 25, it's 15 times 15, which is 225. So it makes it a lot, 225 square feet. So it makes it a lot bigger if this is yards. All right, so when it's yards, it grows. It grows a lot, okay? Um, maybe even more than you would imagine. But this is sort of just an introduction, so it's okay if this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to you yet. All right, but this is something that we're gonna be practicing with, okay? And this is something that we're gonna be doing in the classroom. Um, also, it's something that you can do at home, too. You can draw out a raise, okay? You can set up your toys in a, ra in a raise, set up your Legos or whatever toys you have, set them up in a raise and try to find the area of the array. Okay, um, you can measure, you can measure the sides of things, okay, and try to figure out, um, you know, five by five, what the surface area of something is, what the area inside a surface is going to be, okay. Um, those are your choices that, that you have, and as far as how um, parents can support this at home, please help kids keep measuring, please talk about the difference between feet and yards. Um, because that's very important. Have them measure things in different units. Have them measure things in inches and feet and yards, also centimeters, meters. Um, just giving them experience with those different units is going to be very helpful. Um, and also making sure they know the difference between area, which is the inside, and perimeter, which is the outside. Okay, how to measure the outside. Those will also be very helpful. So this is lesson 3-7, area, the parent help video for grade 3 everyday math.